119 and 59. Yes. What you know about Hebrew? Sis? Your uncle's one. Why you not one? You are one. I am one. You don't like how we do women. How do we do women? Come talk to me, sis. Come talk to me. Find out. But not all camps are like that. What have you heard? That don't mean all. That don't mean all these guys do that. Okay. Uh, how to treat them? What do you mean? What camp is he with? Do you know? Well, at Israel United in Christ, we teach that the men should work and take care of their families. We teach that we should take care of our women, not mistreat them. That's right. Give me first Peter 3 and 7. You're a princess. There's, there's, no, there's nowhere in the Bible where a woman's called the queen. You're a princess of the Most High. But yes, you're a delicate and special to the Most High, and you're going to be treated that way. Read that. My uncle don't read that. Hey, your uncle need to read that. And he, and he, and he threw me off. Uh huh. Let's, let's find out. Read, listen to this. First, first Peter. First Peter, chapter three and verse uh -huh. seven. This is how your uncle should treat his wife. Read. Likewise, ye husbands, uh -huh. dwell with them according to the knowledge given honor unto the wife. Uh -huh. As unto the woman. Well, hold on. Read that part again. Get that part. Giving what? Giving honor unto the wife. No, treating her like she's nothing. Giving honor unto the wife. See what your uncle's doing is not giving honor unto his wife. Wow. He's in sin right now. He needs to repent. Give me uh, Jeremiah 23. Bring it and up. I'm going to show you what else your uncle did because you said he turned you away from this. Watch what the Most High says is going to happen to your uncle if he don't repent. All right. Jeremiah chapter 23. Uh-huh. Verse 1. Yes. Verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, saith the Lord. Because if you understand anything, we are the prophets. We are the pastors. And your uncle destroyed you. He scattered you. He, you don't want to be an Israelite. But the, the, the word woe means destruction. Destruction onto your uncle because he scattered you and destroyed you. Now you say he said you were going to hell for wearing skirts. Give me First Timothy 2 and 9. Bring it out. We're going to show you something because that part, yes. That's not modest. Watch this. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Uh-huh. In like manner also. Right. That the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Yes, you have to be covered, sis. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, like I told you, the Most High looks at you as a delicate creature. You're special to the Most High. Anything special to you, do you just show it off to anybody and everybody? So why are you showing yourself off to anybody and everybody? You're not covered up, sis. You know, your, your legs are out, your chest is out. That's not covered up, sis. The most high said be modest. Anybody give up fire? We got a school right here in New Orleans East on the shelf. Oh, our class starts today at 4 o'clock. Address on the back. Yeah, it's right there on the back. Oh, we have online classes seven days a week on IsraelUnite.org. We have online classes. We have YouTube videos. He wasn't speaking on. He wasn't. They wasn't speaking on. Exactly. Not all Israelites teach that. Uh huh. Exactly, we do. We don't condone you mistreating your woman. No. Do, do that. Do that. Sis. Do that. That's the most high calling you. Uh, give me one, one more scripture. Give me Isaiah 46 and 10. Because it's not by accident that this is happening. Check it out. Isaiah 46 and 10. Isaiah chapter 46. Rihanna. 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 <laughs> Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10 uh -huh. Declaring the end from the beginning right? And from ancient times The things 
that are not yet done. So in the beginning, the Most High ordained this day. He said, Bree, you're going to run into my prophets again. And they're going to show you, they're going to show you that your uncle is being misled and he's misteaching. And it's not the truth that he's teaching. And the Most High is calling you. He wants you to come into this. This is for you. The law, statutes, and commandments were given to you because God loved you. That's how you love God, by keeping his commandments. And it was only given to your people, the blacks, the Spanish, and Native Americans. It wasn't given to all nations. The way you love God was only given to you. That's how special you are to God. He says you're a peculiar treasure. That's three calls on ass again. You ain't got nowhere to go. Read. Exodus 19 verse 5. Yeah. Now, Exodus chapter 19 verse 5. Uh -huh. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, so we listen to God, read. and keep my covenant, uh -huh. then ye shall be a peculiar treasure. A peculiar treasure. That means you're special. That means you're special on the God. So keep his commandments, sis. This is for you. This is for you, brother. Y'all are the Israelites. Hey, brother, do you know your nationality? Do you know who you are according to the Bible? That's all I do is read. Who are you? That's all I do is read. Who are you? That's all I, all I do is read. Bro. All you do is read? You need to start applying if you're reading. If you know you're an Israelite, you need to apply. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it up. I know you don't know. How old are you? Everybody up here is in their mid-twenties. Yeah. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Because, you know, people say all the time they know who they are. Well, if you know who you are, there's things that are required to know who you are. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in that's all that's his that's ways. To walk in all his ways, not some of them. And to love him. To love him. How do we love him? Read. No, let me read that. Keep reading. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord that's and how, his statutes. That's how you love God, to keep his commandments. And the commandments was only given to Israel. So God only showed you how to keep him, how to love him. Give me that. You know what I mean? 4 and 44. Yes. Yes. Forty-four. Yes, yes, sis, you have to be modest. A uh, long dress. Yes, a long dress. You know, uh, past the knee, your head wrap. Covered up. Deuteronomy chapter four and verse forty-four. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies and statutes and judgments which the Lord, which Moses spake unto the children of Israel after they came out of Egypt. So we were given the laws after we came out of slavery. After we came out of Egypt, we were given the laws. We were shown how to love God. And uh, you said something, you said you gotta get a long dress. We have skirts and dresses at the school that the sisters can provide to you. I'm, I'm sure they have all sizes, sis. Come check it out. I am. All right. All right. Look. I'm Elgin Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.